Just like Outlook 2003, you have several options when composing an email message in Outlook 2007. You can click on the File drop-down menu, hold your cursor over New, and choose Mail Message from the Cascade menu. You can also click on the Actions drop-down menu and choose New Mail Message. Or you can click on the New button on the toolbar and choose Mail Message. There's also a keyboard shortcut. If you hold down the control key on your keyboard and press N, this will create a new message. You'll notice that the message window is different from what it looked like in Outlook 2003. Now you have the office button as well as the ribbon at the top of the screen. On the ribbon you have your different functions grouped into tabs and command groups. Below the ribbon, you'll see the to and carbon copy fields as well as the subject field and the send button. To add recipients to your message, click in the field next to the to button and start entering their address. If it's someone you've composed an email to before, the autocomplete window will appear. You can press the up and down arrow keys to select the address and when the correct one is selected just press tab and that will automatically complete the address. To add a recipient who you haven't sent an email to before just type out their full address. If you're going to continue to add recipients add a semicolon at the end of the address and then press space. You can add an address from the SUNY Cortland Global Address List by clicking on the To button, which brings up the Global Address List. In the Search field, start typing the name of the person, and the closest match will appear. You can then add them to the To field, the Carbon Copy field, or the Blind Carbon Copy field. If you add them to the Carbon Copy field, they will receive a copy of the message, and the other recipients will see their address in the carbon copy field. If you add them to the blind carbon copy field, they will receive a copy of the message, but the other recipients will not see that recipient's name on the message. Go ahead and add them to one of the fields and click OK. Now you're ready to add a subject and a message to your email. Just click in the subject field and enter a subject. You should always include a subject to your email because some filters will label your email as spam if the subject field is left blank. To enter the message, just click down in the message field and start typing. Now, if you want to add an attachment, you can click on the little paper clip icon on the Message tab. It's also located on the Insert tab. Just click Attach File and browse your computer for the file. And click Insert. Notice the attached field is now visible and the name of the file is in that field. You can also change the from and reply to for the message. Just click on the options tab. To have the message appear as if it's coming from another person, you need to have delegate access to their account. You can direct replies to another user just by clicking on the direct replies to field and clicking on select names add their address click reply to you can take your address off there if you'd like and click OK and click close after adding any additional options just click send